Hi, and welcome to my guide for the quest to find the perfect base. For this quest, we will need a strong desire to survive, the ability to walk or drive to new locations, and a discerning eye. Access to the Project Zomboid map project is highly recommended, but not required. To start, we need to establish what makes a good base. I could take you all over the map, telling you to base here at this lovely little cabin. A bit lonely though. Or here at this lovely five bedroom house which you'll inevitably live alone in. Or even here in Louisville, because it's 1993 and this property doesn't cost five million dollars yet. But if you know what you're looking for, you can find dozens of bases that are perfect, custom tailored to your every wish, want, and desire. But what makes the perfect base? Ultimately, it comes down to three major factors, so let's get into it. Resources are king, and access to a large forest is great, not only for the massive amounts of lumber, which you'll need to build out your base or heat your home, but it also makes a prime location for foraging and trapping, both of which will be required when those prepackaged goodies start to run out. Second is a body of water, and the bigger the better. And while access to tainted water is nice, it's not really essential. You can make about 5 billion rain barrels in less than a month. Seriously. This was my maxing character, and this is how many rain barrels I had, before I decided it was probably enough. But having access to a lot of fishing spots, that's great. Not only are fish great to eat, they replenish over time and can serve as a supplemental food source. Rivers and lakes also serve as a nice, natural defensive barrier. Next up is gas stations. Pretty self-explanatory. Like power. Like cars. Being close to a gas station, especially one you can make a sky bridge to, is basically essential in my opinion. The convenience of a convenience store right next door cannot be understated. The last resource is kind of odd, but bear with me. A central location in the map to make travel to other towns, cities, or small areas like warehouses can be really nice. And instead of a trip taking a full day, Cutting it down to just half a day can give you plenty of time to set up a home away from home. There's more resources to consider, but these are the big ones. Next up is defenses. First, we have these short fences. Zombies can jump over them, and zombies will eventually break them. In short, they're just not very good. Now these taller, player-made fences and gates, which zombies cannot jump, but they can break them. These are really useful, and you'll likely need them, but keep maintenance in mind. I'd also count windows and doors in this level of defense. Lastly, these big, beautiful, brilliant fences. They cannot be broken by zombies. They are a permanent fixture, perpetually protecting your private property. They also come in a wrought iron version, and setting up a base with these types of defense is the ultimate in protection. Just don't get complacent. The last issue is zombie density, or how many zombies are in the area, basically. It might seem odd to consider, but if you're in the middle of Louisville, those respawns are going to be constantly knocking on your door. Likewise, these cabins in the woods get basically no zombies, but you're pretty much isolated for over a day from anything that matters. It's a matter of choice, and it's a balance, but I'd recommend Rosewood or Riverside. Pick your poison. And there's one last thing to consider, and this one is all about you, you special little diva. It's what you want to do, who you want to be, what you want to accomplish, to overcome, how to live your life. If you hate having tons of zombies always harassing you, and you like being near a river, then the Louisville Baseball Stadium is probably not for you. But if you want to live a quiet life of fixing cars, foraging, and watching any movies you can get your grubby little amateur critic hands on, well, this little police department on the edge of the town of Riverside, a place I'd always be happy to call my home, might just be the right place for you to plant your roots. Thank you so much for watching, let me know what you think in the comments below, and make sure that you hug somebody that you love today. Take care.